Hey what's going on guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing another subscriber squad builder on FIFA 16 and I've been requested this time to do a squad builder around three players and that is Emanike in Cam here as you can see Ahmed Musa in striker and also Obafemi Martins in striker as well around these three players and I actually managed to make a very good team around them uh, loads of really overpowered players you know and it's actually a pretty cheap team as well I think it costs probably around 20k to 30k so it's a very cheap team very very overpowered and I'll start off in goal running you through the team to start off in goal as you can see here I've gone with Tim Howard a player that moved to the MLS and he's actually still a pretty good goalkeeper you know he's got 82 diving 82 reflexes he is getting on a bit now he's quite an old player but he's got 76 handling as well as 77 kicking and 81 positioning so you know a lot of a lot of good stats a lot of stats in the 80s and the 70s and for you know for an old guy he's got really good stats he's six foot three so he can claim corners really well um, and you know for like a player that's only like 1k it might even be less than that he's a very very good player Moving on to centre back on the left hand side, I've gone with one of my favourite overpowered uh, centre backs on that left hand side here. As you can see, it's Og Bonner. This guy is absolutely amazing on FIFA 16. He's got 73 pace, as you can see, 83 defending, and 80 physical, and really solid play, you know. Exactly what you would want from a centre back. He's really, really good there. He's got a medium high work rate, so, you know, he's going to stay back. Six foot three, so a really tall player. He's going to win all his headers, and an absolute beast at centre back. Playing on, alongside Opara, one of the most, one of the quickest, you know, centre backs in the game. He's a silver. Um, 74 rated centre back as you can see here, he's got 87 pace which is phenomenal, he's got like the pace of a right back or a left back, really quick player and also you know 75 defending which is really good and 84 physical so he's a really strong player and he's got really good defending stats as well and overall he's actually a really, you know, you know he's, a, he's an absolute beast at centre back, um, he's really cheap I think he only costs like 2.5 to 3k I think, I think he's a very cheap player. Um, he's got medium high work rates as well, so you know he's going to stay back a lot of the time, which is exactly what you would want your centre back to do. And this guy's just so so overpowered, you know. Definitely try him out if you haven't on FIFA 16 before. But moving on to right back, I'm going to go with this guy, and that's Franklin, my go-to right back from the MLS. I love using this guy. He's got 84 paces, you can see, 70 defending and 76 physical, so really good stats. Basically, all the stats you'd want from a right back to have. You know, you want your right back to have good defending physical stats, which is exactly what this guy's got, and you want them to be quick as well. He's got high medium work rate, so he is going to get forward uh, which is ideal you know you want, you want him to get forward and put in crosses for your strikers which is exactly what he does and overall he's a very solid right back very cheap player um, if you do have a lot of coins you could go with his inform card because I think that's a lot better than uh, this card but this guy will do a great job at right back then moving on to left back to finish off the defense I've gone with Baba as you can see here and again another fantastic player on FIFA 16 he's got 86 pace 76 dribbling so he's a very fast player 75 defending and 74 physical so very solid defending and physical stats and overall again another fantastic player down that left hand side he's got a high medium work rate similar to Franklin so he's going to get forward a lot uh, he's left footed which is ideal because you know he'll be whipping in balls with his left foot into the box for your strikers and overall a very very good left back then moving on to midfield as you can see here I've gone in the middle position I've gone with Dimitri Payet there the absolute legend at the um, at the Euros. This guy was fantastic. As you can see, 77 pace, 83 dribbling. He's got really good stats, 78 shooting. And to be honest, his shooting is so much better than 78. Honestly, he feels broken in this game. He can literally score from anywhere, this guy. He's got 84 passing as well. So, you know, really good at threading those balls through to the strikers and the centre attacking midfielder. He's got a four-star weak foot and four-star skill moves as well. So, you know, good to have the option of using skills when going forward. And overall, this guy's an absolute beast in centre midfield. They're playing on the left-hand side in centre midfield. I've gone with Kuyate, you know, the most defensive player um, in the three midfielders. And this guy is just such a rock, you know, in the middle. He's got 76 pace, so he's a very quick player, actually. Uh, 77 defending and an 87 physical, as you can see. So really good defending and physical strats, stats. This guy is such a beast, you know, he's 6'4". He is so, so strong. He'll just, you know, win the ball back from any midfielders on the other team that have the ball. He'll just nip the ball off them and then start an attack. That 59 passing doesn't really matter too much, to be honest, because, you know, he'll give the ball to Paya and then he'll start an attack. And it just works so well, you know, this guy. He's such a rock in the middle. Definitely pick him up. And I think he only costs, like, 1K or something. So a very cheap player overall. Then moving on to centre midfield on that right-hand side. I've gone with a player which I'm sure many of you haven't used before. But this guy is so, so good in the MLS. As you can see, he's Alonso here. Um, he's got 81 pace, so he's a very quick centre midfielder. He's got 76 dribbling as well. And 80 defending, 83 physical, and 74 passing. So, so many stats in the 70s and 80s. And overall, this guy is so good. You know, he's got a medium high work rate, so he is going to um, stay back most of the time, which is what you'd want your centre midfield on that right hand side to do, just because, you know, he lets Dimitri Pyatt get forward a little bit more. He covers him while he gets forward, which works so well. You know, this guy's got a four star weak foot as well. So, you know, he's both footed, which is ideal for a centre midfielder. And overall, a very solid midfielder and very, very good players, you know, really overpowered players. 
in that midfield. Then moving on to the strike force, this is when it gets very sweaty. Absolutely filthy, these players. And moving on to centre attack midfield, as you can see here, we have got Emanike. This guy is so, so good on FIFA 16. He feels so overpowered, you know. 86 pace, 75 dribbling. He's such a fast player, this guy. 81 physical as well, so he's so strong. Exactly what, you're, what, what you want your centre attacking midfielder to do. Um, 74, 74 shooting, as you can see, so he's got a really good shot on him. 61 passing, so not the best of passing, but it doesn't matter too much, to be honest, you know. He's going to like interchange with your two strikers. And it's a bit, a bit like sort of having three strikers on the pitch, to be honest. They're all going to try and get in behind the defence, and they all work very well together, the three Nigerian players. High-low work rate, so obviously he's going to stay forward uh, more than he likes to come back, which is ideal. He's six foot, so he's a pretty tall player. Four-star weak foot as well as three-star skill moves. And overall, a very solid centre attacking midfielder for like 2k. Then moving on to the strike force, as you can see here, at the left striker, Ahmed Musa, I've gone with. Um, as you can see, he's a fantastic player, 93 pace, so he's so, so quick. 82 dribblings, really good on the ball, um, 76 shooting as well. And to be honest, you know, he's not the strongest of players. He's got 53 physical, but that doesn't matter at all because, you know, this guy is so quick. He's, he's really hard to get off the ball, this guy. Once he's on the ball, you know, he's just going to weave in and out of tackles. And then he's just going to put it in the back of the net. And he does that so well. And overall, this guy is very good. He's got four-star skill moves, as you can see, and high-medium work rate as well. And overall, an absolute beast of a striker. And then playing alongside him, I've got with a very similar player. You know, this guy's pretty small as well. Um, I think he's only an inch taller than Ahmed Musa. But, you know, this guy's actually a lot stronger. You know, he's 72 physical. So, as you can see, he's a lot stronger on the ball. 91 pace. So, he's a very quick player. 79 dribbling and 77 shooting so a lot of stats in the 70s and he's obviously got that 90 pace as well five star weak foot so you can finish with both feet which is ideal to have on a striker especially for a guy you know like this that costs only like one and a half k to two k very cheap player this guy medium medium work weight so you know he's not going to try and get him behind the defense all the time which which isn't a problem at all you know because sometimes you want your players to come short and pick up the ball then run with it um, so it doesn't matter at all. Four style skill moves as well as you can see there. So he can use skills while going forward as well. And overall, this guy is your all-round striker. You know, he's strong, he's quick, he's got a good finishing and he's a fantastic player. And that is the team, guys. Definitely pick up this team if you have the coins. It's really, really overpowered. Got some great players in it. That is today's video, guys. Remember to, remember to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you in the next video.